Hello. We look at some questions on arithmetic. So let's look at this example. We need to calculate an answer for this sum. So the way to do this is that we have the operations minus, times, and plus down here. And the rule is that we must always do the times and divide first before we do the plus and the minus. So this means that in this case, we must not do the 8 minus 5 first. We must go straight to the times and we must do the 5 times 4 first. So 5 times 4 is 20. So I calculate that first. I don't do anything to the other two numbers here. So then, I, have, I only have the plus and the minus. So when you have just the plus and minus, you should do the one on, you should start from the left and go to the right. So you start from the left and you do the 8 minus 20 first. All right, you, you must not do the 20 plus 3 first. That again will give you a different answer. So we must start from the left, do the 8 minus 3, and that is, um, let's see, that is minus 12 plus 3. Okay. And then finally we do the minus 12 plus 3. So that will be minus 9. Now, in case you wonder about how to add negative numbers, the way to do the, the simple way to understand how to do a minus 12 plus 3 is to think about the number line. So imagine I have a line that represents numbers. So if that's 0, I can have 1, 2 and so on. That's a number line. And on the other side, I can have minus 1, minus 2, all the way until minus 12. Okay, and before minus 12, I have minus 11, minus 10, minus 9, And so on. So if we do minus 12 plus 3, that means that we can imagine going to minus 12 in the number line. And when we plus 3, we move 1, do three steps to the towards the positive side that's the negative side and then we will get minus nine that's the answer Right. Um, in this question, look at another question now. It's a question on percentage. 1.03. We want to express this as a percentage of 1. So that means we, we want to ask how many percent of 1 is 1.03? So the way to do this is to take the 1.03, divide that by 1, that's the one there, and multiply by 100%. And that is the formula for finding 
a percentage. You always take the number, divide by the other number, and multiply that by 100%. So when you do that, the answer will tell you what percentage of this number is equal to the number on top. Right, so let's multiply that. 1.03 divided by 1 is the same, and 1.03 times 100, we do that by moving the multiple, uh, the decimal place two steps to the right, and the answer is 103. And we must include the percentage sign. So the answer is 103%. Alright, so that means that 1.003, let's say that again, 1.03 is 103% of the number 1. Right, in this question, we have a down. So a, a down is a meter um, with a scale and a needle that can move. So in this case, this down is a, 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 a a dial is, is a display, a small de device that that shows that is in a car and that shows the amount of fuel that is left in the car. And in this question, we are given that when the when the car is when the car is full, the fuel is fifty liters. So it's got 50 liters of petrol in the car when it's full. And the idea is that this device in the car will show that the needle points to 1 if the, if the petrol is full. If the petrol tank is full, then this needle will point to 1. But, or, or if the petrol tank is completely empty, the needle will point to zero. But in this question, we have this dial showing the needle pointing to... Um, it should be exactly halfway between a quarter and a half. Right, okay, so it's pointing exactly halfway between a quarter and a half. And the question now is, how much fuel is left in the petrol tank? So that's 50 liters, that's zero. And we have, we have here, let's determine the fraction of this. Um, so what's halfway between quarter and half? Right, if we think of half of a quarter, that's one eighth. So that, if that's one eighth, two eighths, Three eighths. So that position is in a three eighths position. In other words, if one is a full tank of petrol, we now have three eighths of the tank. So three eighths of fifty liters. And that's what we need to calculate. Right. Um, okay. Let's have 
And we can use a calculator to do that. I'm just going to do it very quickly. By um, we do a three over eight is hundred. Okay. Three over eight is um. Let me right. Let me try it fractions. If I cancel, divide by two. That's twenty five. That's four, and I get three quarters of twenty five. Right. Okay. So on top I have seventy five. At the bottom I have four, and the answer is. If I do a long division between the 7 and the 5, I'll get um, 1. 4 times 1 is 4. And I get a 3 there. 8. And I get 3 quarters. That's right. Yeah. So that's the answer. There is 18 and 3 quarter liters of fuel in the tank. Alright. In the next part of this Question. We are given that the petrol tank is four fifth full. The question is where is the arrow pointing? Does it point there or there or somewhere in between there or there? So the first thing we need to, to know is roughly where it is and if, for example, if I look at the half, let's think about whether 5 fifth is more than half. Right, so, so 4 fifth is more than half. Right, so 4 fifth would be, it would be more than half. A quick way to, to think about this is to write down the decimals All right, because we can compare the decimals directly. That's 0 0.5. Half is 0 0.5. 3 over 4 is 0 0.75. And 4 fifth is 0 0.8. So there we are. So 0 0.5 is the same as 0 0.50. So if you are comparing the numbers, it would be comparing, say, 80, 75, and 50. So clearly, 0 0.8 is a bit more than 0 0.75. So therefore, I can draw the down just a little bit after the three-quarter mark. Like that. So that's how we can do this question. So it's a bit of a, a rough estimate. But the important thing here is to first to determine, to compare the fractions and to determine um, whether it's bigger or smaller than, for example, half or three quarter. And then get an idea of how close it is, whether it's closer to the three quarter mark or the one. So the, the easiest way is to just go straight to the decimals. And right. Okay, we'll stop here.